Hello my family, welcome again to Direct TV bringing to you the truth. Welcome guys to this special episode of my video. And in today's video guys, I am here with the man of God, the highly esteemed um, Apostle Michael Oropo. And he is going to be talking about the man of God, the highly esteemed Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome. And in today's video, man, guys, you are going to be inspired by the life of Apostle Michael Oropo. He actually lived a life like Pastor Chris Oyakilome because of how he so much loved the man of God, Pastor Chris of how he so much wanted to follow the man of god pastor chris and have the same results that the man of god pastor chris was having so this led him to you know doing the things or dressing um in the same way walking like the man of god pastor chris so you guys are going to be so inspired in today's video but before you dive into the video guys um if this is your ch uh, first time in my channel all right this is your first time in this channel hi and i want to welcome you so please just go ahead and click the subscribe button subscribe to um this channel and if you have not yet liked today's video, please hit the like button and like this video so that this video can be recommended um, to other people. And then let's watch the man of God, Apostle Michael Ropo now. And I'll be right back to share with you the rest of what has equally inspired me to this video. Please watch this. I can't tell you 10 years ago, is it 10 or 12 years ago? If you saw my picture, my hair was pimped. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> 10 years ago. I used to pen my hair like Pastor Chris. Then we walk like this. <laughs> if we are standing, this is how we stand. If we are walking and teaching, we walk like this. You know the Lord is in this place. As we are talking, the atmosphere will be dying. <laughs> Meanwhile, he is talking everywhere, is charging. You, you are talking, the atmosphere is dying. Pastor Chris will just come. Whoever is in Christ Jesus is a new creature. You will now come and say, new creature. Why he saying people are standing, you are saying people are sleeping? What is happening here, sir? It's beyond suit and shoe. There's nothing wrong with the suit. Learn the good things. Speak well, but have power. <laughs> have power. I now went and washed my hair and, and cut it. <laughs> because the warfare that was even coming to me, the, the favor and glory of my life was not enough to handle it. So, because if I show up, they, they reject me. Because I now bab the hair first. And say, wait. When I understand what this man understands, I can do what I want, but this is not working. <laughs> we now sat down. We started hearing the messages again. That was when we now knew the dealings of God on their lives. We knew dealings. Because the organic part is heavier. The organic. Heavier. The other day I was driving and the Holy Ghost collided with me in the car. I said, how can you believe? I said, ah, what do you mean by how can you believe? I believe. I'm a believer. He said, when you are interested in the praise that comes from men and not the praise that comes from God only. Uh -uh. What is happening? I was being judged. You know the Bible says you, you should be judged so that you are not judged. So for me to enter another phase, this is the requirement. I thought I needed to increase my prayer. He said no. When you are interested in the honor that comes from men more than the honor that comes from God, you can't believe. Because faith has different laws at different levels. It's called ascension. Now, when you have ascended, then you can now do the works of faith. If you don't ascend and you do the works of faith, you won't have results. No matter how you try to manipulate God and say, Lord, these people are atheists. If this miracle happens here, they will believe you forever. It's a lie. The children of Israel, they saw a miracle for 40 years. They did repent. The pillar of fire and the pillar of cloud walked with them. They were seeing wonder for 40 years. They didn't believe. It's conviction, the conviction of the Holy Spirit. That's what converts men. Not what people see. Some people can even see a miracle. The reason why they will say all these pastors are fake. So stop manipulating God. Follow the protocol. All right, guys. Welcome back from that amazing video and amazing session with the man of God, the highly esteemed Apostle Michael Rocco. Oh my God! Did you hear the several things he said? And it was so inspiring. All right. One thought he actually shared before I, um, you know, introduce you guys to my channel please he said something about the fact that um the praises of men is important but don't take it as as anything all right that was the next step he needed for him to get to a level he is all right guys for those of you who are coming um newly to my channel this is your first time coming into my channel please go ahead and just hit the subscribe button subscribe to this um channel so i can be getting more videos from me and turn on the notification and if you have not yet liked the video up to this point, please hit the like button and like today's video so that this video 
can be recommended to other people and then guys what actually blessed me today is the fact that um the man of god apostle michael Ropo, um understood apart from the fact that he was following the man of god pastor chris all right he later understood that it was not in the dressing it was not in the talking sense but in the power that the man of god pastor chris was carrying so he had to go and shave off his hair all right i'm not saying you can't do that but there's something pastor chris carry and you need to understand what is making him do what he does for you to get to the level that he is i really trust that some of you were inspired in your life and in your ministry so go ahead and like today's video and i'll see you guys in my next video